Unwanted car alarm buzzing is a prevalent problem that a lot of people report. When your car alarm suddenly goes off for no apparent reason at night, the situation becomes even more annoying when people are sleeping. Fortunately, the alarm does not always go off due to a thief. Occasionally, it may go off due to a poor installation or for other reasons. What then might be causing a car alarm to continue going off at random? In this video, we'll examine the root causes of the issue and discuss potential solutions. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Low Battery Charge most often, a low or defective car battery is the cause of an automobile alarm that goes off at night. The car battery may be defective if you hear the alarm go off at night and discover that it is dead in the morning. It's probably something else that's broken if your car alarm is going off, but you can start it without any problems. To check the condition of your car battery and replace it if necessary, you can use a multimeter or an automobile battery tester. Faulty Hood Latch Sensor A hood latch sensor is a feature of modern cars that sounds an alarm if someone tries to force open the hood of your vehicle. Depending on the state of your car, the area near the hood latch sensor is likely to accumulate dust, grime, and debris, which could set off the alarm. Find the sensor and have it cleaned to solve this issue. If the alarm is still audible, there's a chance that the sensor was tampered with or is broken. If you believe the sensor might be broken, replace it. The hood latch sensor is typically located inside the hood lock, but it can also be mounted externally. Faulty Key Fob With a single button push, you can lock or unlock your car's doors and even start the engine using the key fob, sometimes referred to as an automobile remote key. A broken or malfunctioning key fob may send the wrong signal, setting off the car alarm since it has controls connected to the vehicle alarm system. To solve the issue, you can reset the gadget, or inspect and replace the crucial key fob batteries. Certain situations may require you to reprogram your key fobs after you've changed the batteries and you're still having communication issues. Sensitive sensors. The alarm may sound due to an overly sensitive movement or shock sensor. In this scenario, a dog or cat may gently touch your car and set off your alarm. The kind of movement and shock sensors in your car are largely dependent on the model of your vehicle and whether the alarm system was installed, factory installed, or as an aftermarket installation. With a diagnostic scanner, you can set the sensitivity of the shock and movement sensors in certain car models that come equipped with factory installed car alarms. On vehicles like Audi and Volkswagen, where the sensors are often overly sensitive out of the factory, this is frequently required because it occasionally results in them going off without warning. Adjustable sensors are a feature of certain aftermarket auto alarm systems. For more details, consult the manual for the car alarm. Faulty Door Lock Sensor Your car alarm keeps an eye on your car doors to make sure no one is opening them, just like it does with the hood latch sensor. Therefore, the car alarm may sound due to a malfunctioning door latch sensor. Although it is occasionally possible to install the door latch sensor externally from the lock, it is typically installed inside the door lock actuator. If it only occurs occasionally, however, locating the malfunctioning door latch sensor may prove difficult. Typically, a door latch sensor is connected to two wires, an open circuit when the door is open and a closed circuit when it is closed. This facilitates multimeter measurement. However, since the door actuators are frequently found inside the door, measuring may be a little more challenging if you don't start at the control unit. Incorrect installation of the alarm. It might have been installed incorrectly if you recently installed a new car alarm system and discovered that the alarm keeps going off without cause. If it was installed by a mechanic, go back and describe the issue. If it was installed by you, it's time to review the installation instructions and make sure everything is correct. Bad Alarm Control Module A defective control module is uncommon because factory-installed car alarms frequently have both a main electric component control unit and an integrated alarm control unit. A car alarm that is installed aftermarket frequently has an alarm control module that regulates all of the sensors and switches. If this control module malfunctions, the car alarm may occasionally sound. How to diagnose and fix? Check the battery voltage. Using a multimeter, you should first determine the voltage in your battery. With the ignition on, it ought to read between 12 and 12.5 volts. It's definitely time to use a battery charger to recharge the car battery if the voltage is less than 12 volts. To make sure it's fully loaded and to find out if the car alarm continues to go off, charge it completely for a full day. As long as the alternator is operating properly, driving your car on a daily basis should prevent the battery from draining. Recheck the battery voltage using an idle multimeter after starting the engine and letting it run. If everything is right, 
It shouldn't read between 13.5 and 14.5 volts when it is idle. If the idle reading is between 13.5 and 14.5 volts, it could be an alternator problem that is draining the car battery. Even with the alternator charging, if the voltage at the ignition remains below 12 volts, it might indicate a defective car battery that requires replacement. Check for trouble codes. When the vehicle battery and charging voltage appear to be operating normally, it's time to use a scan tool to check for any trouble codes. Since most inexpensive scanners can only read trouble codes from the engine control unit, it won't be sufficient to check for any codes related to the car alarm. Additionally, a standard scanner cannot be used to check for trouble codes in an aftermarket car alarm system. On the other hand, troubleshooting should begin wherever the trouble codes indicate the issue is, if you find any. Lubricate all door hatches and locks. To make sure all of the door locks, the hood latch, and the trunk latch are correctly closed, you can also try lubricating them with a lubricant. It's also a good idea to spray some electric cleaner into the connectors, if you can reach them. Check the sensitivity setting. If your car comes with an alarm system installed, chances are good that the shock or movement sensor's sensitivity settings are the source of the issue. Cheaper scan tools are unable to accomplish this task. A good scan tool is typically required to reach these settings. It's a good idea to look for any mention of these settings in your owner's manual, as some car models allow you to access them through the display settings. You can attempt to lessen the sensitivity if you can locate them. Change the key fob battery. The final DIY task is to ensure your key fobs are fully charged by changing the batteries. Although it is rare, this problem won't usually set off your car alarm, it does occasionally. The batteries used in most key fobs are typically very inexpensive and simple to change. Once more, for information on how to change the key fob batteries, consult your owner's manual. If all of the above solutions have been tried and your car alarm is still going off, there isn't much more you can do without more advanced diagnostic expertise. It's now time to seek expert assistance from a workshop equipped with the necessary diagnostic equipment. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.